Hello. Okay, for math today, we are going to be solving addition problems by using blocks or by using drawings, okay? So here's the solve and share problem. How can you find the sum of 50 plus five? Use place value blocks to help you find the sum. Then use numbers and pictures to show your work. So I know that at home, we probably don't have place value blocks to use. We can definitely pull them up on the computer, but if you can't, you can use a drawing. We've been drawing place value blocks all the time, right? So one way you can draw a place value blocks is a nice long line for tens and dots for one. So this number would show 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so the, for this problem, 50 plus five, 50 and five are our add-ins, okay? We're going to find 50 plus five and find our sum. So if I wanted to add 50 plus five, I wanna take the first number 50 and draw it using place value blocks. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, okay? I have 50 here. Now I wanna add five more. One, two, three, four, five. If I were to count up all of these blocks together, I would have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, and our sum would be 55. Okay, let's try it again with some new numbers. 21 plus seven. Here, I have a picture of place value blocks. Now I know we can't always use place value blocks because we don't always, always have them right in front of us, right? We're not at school right now. So for this problem, 21 plus seven, you can use place value blocks like the picture here, or you can draw it. I'm going to do it both ways. So here we have 21, 10, 20, and one more. That makes 21. And then we, our other add end is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to group the ones that are the same, the blocks that are the same. So we have tens right here. And then we'll group together all of our ones. Okay, so you count up all of your tens, 10, 20, then count on with all of your ones. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 21 plus seven equals 28. Now I could do the same thing by just drawing lines, right, and dots. Here's 21, and then here's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and I could do the same thing and group like numbers, group our ones together and then group our tens. And I would see that I have two tens, which is two tens, which is 20. And then I have eight ones, which is eight. And together they make 28. All right, let's try another one. 21 plus 20. Here, I'm going to just draw it because I know that's what, I, I know I have a pencil at home and that's a tool I can use easily. Okay, so 21. First, I'm gonna draw 21. 10, 20, one plus 20. 10, 20. Okay, I know that in this number, I have two tens. And in this add end, I also have two tens. Okay, if I wanted to add those together, I have one, two, three, four tens, right? I have four tens. How many ones do I have? Just one. So my final sum is 41. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41. Okay, here's our last problem. And then you're going to be able to try this on your own. 24 plus four. First, I'm going to build 24. One. Two tens, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, plus four. One, two, three, four. Okay, again, we're going to group the items that are the same, the tens or the ones, right? Here we have tens. We have two tens. How many ones do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight ones together, that makes 28.
10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I checked my work. I'm correct. 24 plus 4 equals 28. Okay. Why don't you open up your workbook and try this on your own?